uh, right now, right here, right now. Let's talk about how we fix it. And I, I have four ways on how we can fix the educational system, not only in this country, but in the world. Number one, we have to look at education. Education comes from the Greek word educe, meaning to draw out, as in to draw the talent out of a person. School, on the other hand, is about putting more stuff in, putting more and more stuff in. So in that sense, school, well, education can get in the way of school. It's, it's unfortunate. when It's a big problem when the number one most asked question in classrooms is, is this going to be on the test? That's not good. That's, that's, that's terrible. It is so important to look at the cognitive sciences and try to integrate that into the classrooms. Uh, molecular biologist John Medina, he says that if you wanted to create an educational system that was directly opposed to what the brain was good at doing, then you would design a classroom, a modern day classroom. You know, if I told you that students should have less homework, they should wake up later, uh, they should be able to take naps, small naps in between classes. People would call me crazy. But when you look at the cognitive science, when you look at it, you'll see that these things actually enhance learning. Number two, we have to bring the joy back into the classroom. The brain works best when the person is happy. If a, if a student is stressed out, if they're miserable, how do we expect them to learn efficiently? It's not going to happen. So we have to bring the joy and the happiness and the fun back into the classroom. Number three, we have to look at what's working. Countries like Finland, they, they're doing something and we have to look at, okay, what are they doing differently? How are their, their scores and their students outperforming us by so, so much? What are they doing? Well, it's interesting, their whole paradigm is different. You know what the number one most sought after uh, career in Finland is? Teaching, teachers, you know, that they, they, they Finland takes care of their teachers. Their teachers earn two and a half times that of what American teachers earn. And they have more rigorous standards. You need a master's degree and, and experience teaching before you can become a teacher in Finland. Here, you don't need that. And lastly, we need a more individualized approach. See, every child has a gift inside of them. You know, a lot of, a lot of people say, oh, I want my kid to go to a gifted school. A gift, a gift. There are gifted schools. That every child is gifted. It's about us trying to draw that gift out of them. You know, I always say, what if the cure for cancer exists in a, in a child right now, sitting in the back of somebody's classroom, not being engaged, not motivated, not raising their hand, but the cure for cancer exists inside of them. And if that, that potential, if that idea was tapped into, it could save million, billions of lives. But right now, they're just fish being judged by how well they can climb a tree. All right, so last thing I wanna tell you guys is this. Uh, these were some of the books that I used for research um, for my project of, of I Just Sued the School System. This one is called I Love Learning, I Hate School by uh, Susan D. Bloom. Uh, this is an anthropology of college, amazing book. This one here is called Brain Rules, John Medina. This is, this is a great book to not only help you uh, understand yourself, but also a lot of teachers, I think, would find it um, useful in their class to use some of these techniques in their classroom. And this one, probably the most dangerous book of all by this guy, John Taylor Gatto, An Underground History of American Education. Uh, Gatto was New York's uh, Teacher of the Year. He is probably the most well-researched um, academic on the subject of school, where it comes from, the factory origins. But there's a lot more. I just hope that everybody does the research for themselves. That goes for teachers, uh, principals, faculty, staff, and even students. Very important for us all to learn more and more about how we can change this educational system in this country and around the world. My name is Prince EA and peace.